What's happening, everybody? Uh, welcome into my first official YouTube video. And I thought, I think I, I thought I would start off a, just with an introduction video. You know, I actually applied for Gwent Partner today, and I was explaining in my email to CDPR, you know, kind of about myself, trying to introduce them to myself and uh, let them know why I wanted to be a partner. So I thought, you know. It'd be good to kind of do the same thing on YouTube. Just introduce you guys uh, to myself and let you know what I'm about, where I came from, what I'm doing in the space. And, uh, you know, if you're interested to kind of know more about me or, or the man behind the content that I plan on uploading, you know, here it is. And I think it's be kind of fun to look back on down the road, possibly, depending on where this goes. But uh, I think we're just going to try to have some fun with it. No real high, hard expectations. We're just going to have fun. So, you know, without further ado, let's kind of jump in and, and just uh, show you guys what's up. I'm, I'm 35 years old. Uh, I full-time work right now. Uh, I actually love my career. I've been doing it for a long time. I'm in construction, um, more on the management side, and it's been uh, a really long path to get where i'm in my industry and i do love it but i also love video games and i've always loved video games and uh you know before getting into the pc side of things recently i was a console pleb and i'm not I, i'm not ashamed to admit it i love my consoles and in fact a quick story i own every console all the way up from the original nintendo nintendo sega super nes um nintendo 64 playstation 1 2 3 4 uh xbox xbox 360 uh xbox one um i i don't think i have a switch a game boy um uh, and uh um what was it what was the playstation one a, a p whatever the ps handheld was and uh i the reason I have never sold a console or a game before is when we were kids, my mom took us in to sell our Nintendo so we could get a Sega. And she just handed it to the guy and said, hey, how, here's all the games in the console. How much is it worth? And he was like, 10 bucks, you know, or something like that. Like 5% of what a Sega cost with some games and she was like you're kidding me we spent all this you know she knew growing up <clears throat> you know my my mom and dad didn't with two kids didn't have a whole lot of money they were very tight on a budget so for us to get a game system was a big deal and I remember we had to wait forever to get a Sega because of that and uh, you know my parents would spend all that money on it she's just like well we're not selling it because I can't fathom spending that money and then just getting away like that so we had to wait to get a Sega, but when we did, that just kind of instilled the habit of not selling them. And I wouldn't take that back for the world today because I legitimately have every, all of them. And, and it's a sweet ass collection right now. And uh, I can just look back at, you know, we're doing a Final Fantasy VII playthrough right now. I have my original Final Fantasy VII and the discs. You know all of it. I can go back and look. I got Goldeneye. You want to look at my Goldeneye? We 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 have it still. You know, just things like that that uh, are are super fun. And so that kind of uh, journey, though, when we when I got a 360 and uh, a, a PlayStation 2, you know, that was a big deal uh, because the biggest game changer for me as a as a console gamer was achievements. I loved achievements, and and I really. You know, it's not really about a, a console war between me. The reason I played my 360 more was just, it's where I developed friendships. The My friends were on it, so I, that's where I was on it. Even though I eventually did get a, a, a well, actually I was PlayStation 2, and then um, I didn't play Xbox for very much, and then I jumped from PlayStation 2 to Xbox 360. Um... And I played that more than my PS3, and but you know I have them both still, uh, PS4 and Xbox One. And like I said, no console war BS. I'm a fan of them both, but being in achievements was a huge deal for me because uh, 
I loved the fact that I could uh, keep a record of my gaming history. I mean, how cool is this? We can go back to the last time I played a game and we can look at, I mean, having a history or a record of this and, and what I've done to earn my achievements or what I was playing at the time and what was going on in my life at these periods of times or these games that I was into or the, or the games I might even have missed out on, you know. Um, this was this was huge for me. So, like, the fact that I could start... And, and I was always completionist of a game. Like, I completed Final Fantasy VII uh, twice originally. Gold Chocobos, Knights of the Round, but I didn't have any record of that. You know, and memory cards were garbage. All that memory's gone by now. But uh, to, to be able to check this out and, and see these pieces, you know... Have, have used to be love Tiger Woods, you know, back in the day. Played a lot of Tiger Woods uh, 14. You know, just to be able to look through these games. Big Gears of War guy back in the day. In fact, Gears of War is where I met one of my best friends. Uh, and he lives in Canada. We met on Gears of War 2. And we've been friends ever since. And I'm talking tight friends. And, and in fact, uh, Dream, I'm shouting you out. We'll... we'll We'll show you his YouTube, but he's the one that helped me get into the content creation space. Uh, I went, I had a chance to go up to Canada and visit to visit him and hang out and and do something with him besides play video games, and all all because of meeting somebody on a on a video game and and having a, a ten plus year friendship build out because of it. So making friends and communities online, it's not something that's that's new to me at all. Um, you know, you see, we're starting to crawl into the Xbox One days, but, you know, just what we were playing at the time, you know, just, it's just nice to reminisce across, uh, a lot of this stuff, you know, when I can complete a game, but what, uh, really got me here today was my love affair with The Witcher, you know, when I played The Witcher, it was a game changer for me, man, I, and it still is. It's still a, a pivotal moment in my life playing The Witcher, beating The Witcher 1 originally, going back and beating Witcher 2 to experience it. And by the way, I did a, I've never played Witcher on anything but Madman difficulty or Mar or uh, Death March. And you know, I remember going to a GameStop and just kind of not sure what I wanted to buy. And I remember pre-ordering The Witcher because the cover art looked pretty cool. I love RPGs. I'm a, you know, I, I certainly love a lot of Bethesda's RPGs, you know, as Fallout and Skyrim. But playing Wild Hunt for the first time, I was so blind to it. I didn't know the hype around it. I didn't know anything about it. I kind of bought it on a whim. So, spoiler free. And to experience it without knowing anything around it, no one to no one to tell you what's going on, just to figure it out, I wouldn't change that experience for the world. And uh, you know, it, it's crazy, but I had look at this. I played at Death March. I played twelve days and twelve hours, seven hundred and thirty-one deaths. I died a bunch in this game, but I did everything. The only thing I did, I didn't know. Kara Mintz was acting a fool. I didn't know what it was up, so you know I had to, I had to, I had to kill her. But uh, you know, I played it blind, and I just fell in love with this game. To get all of the uh, achievements, to finish it up in in walk the path. Oh, beautiful! So much fun, and, and that this game was just a, a meaningful, meaningful game. So when I got the chance to play the game of the year edition after i so i played you know the original went back and beat witcher 2 and then when the game of the year edition came out new achievements for a chance for me to play that all over again oh it like couldn't resist it so we did it again and i actually 100 percented this one uh but we still got nine and a half days out of my second playthrough all the way through much less deaths this time but uh, I missed an achievement. Uh, it glitched out for uh, a, a Witcher for a monster contract. In fact, it glitched out, but I still got the achievement for all monster contracts. But there are some glitchy achievements on this, and that's unfortunate. But I did. You know, that's two full complete playthroughs on, on this game. 
man, oh, I just, it, 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 and I, I kept telling all my friends, hey, they got to do a Gwent standalone game. And, you know, and, and, and kind of what I was telling CDPR today, I begged for Gwent to happen, but even still, I didn't get into Gwent right away. I shelved it because I was variety gaming. I was doing a lot of other things, playing a lot of other games, you know, that, that had my attention and wrapped up in, and then Thronebreaker dropped. Well, I played Magic before, and, you know, playing single-player games kind of allow you to get a feel for things and then jump into uh, uh, the the multiplayer. So when, when Thronebreaker dropped, I was like, okay, cool. Um, and... Uh, by the way, 100%ing this game, one of the biggest, hardest achievements of my gaming career. Great game. But, uh, you know, I, I thought that would be the turning point, and I still didn't dive into it right away. It still took me about a year after Thronebreaker dropped before I made my jump, and I had some time off work, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make Thronebreaker happen, and then I'm going to use Thronebreaker to propel myself into Gwent. Now, I'm making it happen, and I'll tell you what, Thronebreaker was a game changer for me. 100% of it, you know, 60 hour playthrough, um, does it take playtime in here? But I had a 60 hour playthrough, 100% of the achievements, and, and this game uh, was like, alright, so then I was like, hey, I'm rolling over to Gwent, we're gonna make it happen on console. Well, at this time, Gwent was... Coming to a close on console, I didn't, I didn't know that, and that playtime, I'm pretty sure, isn't even correct, because we played for uh, quite a bit, but um, it was. So I, I dived in, and you know, being a console player, I dive into Gwent, and all of a sudden it's closing on console. So I grind achievements out of it. I get my Gwent uh, account transferred to GOG, and. All of a sudden, I'm like, boom, I got to move over to PC. And, I, and I'll tell you what, it I haven't played much of my console since. We dived into, uh, we dived into Gwent on, uh, once my, I think my account got transferred about the middle of February, in fact. And uh, I didn't know what ranked mode was. So I come into Gwent middle of February no idea what uh the ranking up is and and then on like this pro rank exists all right let's do it so we push into pro rank and i made pro rank the last day of the season of the bear so on 4-1 because i remember i thought once i made it into pro rank i didn't know about the reset so i remember i made it in that night i get to uh check my account the next morning just to kind of be like oh it just uh, soak in that i made pro rank and I'm reset back to three. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So that was kind of a, a weird surprise for me that, you know, you reset every, if you're not in the top 500. But, uh, you know, it didn't matter, man. I was hooked. And uh, right about my last push into pro is when I rolled off my first stream. Um, you know, we first, our first stream was uh, 315. So right about a couple weeks before we made pro rank for the first time, I launched my first stream. And the reason I decided to start streaming is because I hit a wall in about rank 15 or, or so where I was just like, man, I can't build decks. I'm getting my butt kicked. I don't know what to do. And I've been a Twitch viewer for four years. I love BRs. I love, um, uh, I love PUBG. I used to watch all the all the streamers on on those guys play PUBG, and so I was like, "Well, gosh, I watch FPSs to to know maps better and do things. Why I better check out the Gwent community on there?" And so I did, and that was it, man. I'm like, dude, people are. I was, uh, you know, all of a sudden I found McBeard. He's telling me I, I love Northern Realms. He's helping me with Northern Realm decks via his YouTube. And all of a sudden, I get a good deck that I can pilot, and I, I just start cruising again. And I think about all the steady time I waited to get into Gwent, and I held off, or, or I waited, and 
then when I got stuck, I mean, how much Twitch helped me? And I'm like, well, I, I want to help out. I want to help people who get stuck in Gwent or may not know what the right path is because I think we could lose potential new players to the game that didn't have the resources right away that maybe I did. And so if we can introduce them quickly to say, don't go, don't take the path alone on Gwent. Use content creators. Use people to help you further your game. There's nothing wrong with that. And and content creators are there to help you. Twitch streams are there to help you. You watch people and you realize, I've never seen that card before. Oh, and you start identifying decks. You start identifying different play styles. Um, how to get the best value out of your decks. And then the game just opens up for you. And so that was a huge piece for me deciding to be to stream. And so we started streaming on 315 and you know what on 630 so not that long we made affiliate and, and i'll tell you what some of the funnest pieces of becoming a twitch streamer is getting to know other streamers other content creators inside the community um you know as we play and, and, and enjoy our games just to come through and be able to follow other people along this path and 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 talk with them it, it's extremely rewarding and and the gwent community is is a fantastic one and, and you know in fact that it's it, it, the card art the lore it, it's something that most people are already familiar with you just need to take that next step and and gwent has a lot of legs to satisfy hundreds of hours of playtime easily and i'll tell you what the microtransaction the 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 pay to win mechanics they're not they're not bad don't let anybody tell you different they're not bad um and, and so it's been a heck of a ride and i and we want to get partner we want to make the next step we want to start creating youtube videos because i think that you know when you're live you're only discoverable uh, when i'm live but if we can help give you content to 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 watch when you want to watch and and instead of it being unedited uncut we can take the the best samples of the best gameplay or the best stuff that we want to help to help you pilot your decks or uh, or understand and we're i'm still learning there's hundreds of people uh, that are out there creating content that are doing better than me. But, uh, you know, that's the beauty. The, the variety is out there. And I highly would recommend so many people. And in fact, you know, we'll just take a quick look at my channel. We got, we're hosting Blap right now. But, uh, you know, we've built out our channel with some pretty cool things. You know, I want, you know, why do I advertise cdpr stuff for free they're not paying me to do this because i want you guys to uh, experience these games and dive in and and i think you'll enjoy them as much as i do um you know here's our stream schedule we stream monday sunday monday tuesday thursday right now i'm active on twitter we're doing a cyberpunk giveaway right now and in fact all you have to do is follow the channel and and if we hit 200 followers before cd pr releases cyberpunk i'm gifting a copy to somebody in my community for for just following the channel we just want it all we ask is just to get exposure just come give us your time hopefully you'll like the channel and you'll stay longer but you know hopefully you like it enough just to get a follow and and, and a and a chance to win a, a, a what's going to be a fantastic game and, and so that's uh that's what we're about we're about uh helping the community out supporting you know i mean i got my subscription ups because you know i'm subscribed to 14 14 streamers right now not all in the gwent space i still hold my my boy vis down for my uh br but all every this is how much i love gwent because i work at a a job where i can have the computer rolling and uh i can uh support it i also you know not to flex too hard but i gift a lot of subs in 
the Gwent community, and I think the Twitch algorithm works that when you gift subs a lot, you seem to be more eligible to get gifted subs. So I seem to get a lot of gifted subs because I give a lot of gifted subs. And there's just, I mean, every one of these content creators is is amazing in their own right. Um, and, and I've been, and I still support a lot of these content creators even though I'm not actively sub to them, I like to rotate subs around, and 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 so I mean, you can. Just, this is four years of viewing um, time on Twitch, and obviously I watched a lot of things before Gwent was consuming my time. But that's that's what we're up to, you know. I I hope that uh, this channel will help you guys if you get stuck. I want to be accessible. We, you know, we have a full-time job, yeah, but in our free time, we're streaming. We're going to create YouTube content. Again, my boy Dream has been a huge help to me uh, on that side uh, of it. And, uh, you know, give the show that had him ready to roll, but uh, he's been... He's been doing big things for me. Actually, you know, the intro video that you will see when this video is attached was done by Dream. Um, so, you know, th th like I said, man, Gears of War 2, met this guy, became buddies. You know, he's out there, hundred, you know, thousands plus subscriber, making good content too. He's been a huge inspiration for me. We want to make our content for you guys as well. So, you know... We, th we think we got big things to come for you. So I think, you know, with that being said, we'll we'll end the video here. Uh, I really hope you guys will stick around. And uh, if you got any questions, you know, hit me up uh, on, on Twitch. Throw me a message on, on YouTube. I'm active on Twitter uh, quite a bit. Uh, here's my... So I'm at uh, my profile. We're at Boneyard Gaming, Boneyard X Gaming. Hit me up on Twitter. You know, um, get to know me. I like to get to know you. We'll help each other out and uh, just make Gwent a better space to be in uh, because there's a lot of good stuff to help grow this community to be bigger and better like we know it can be so appreciate it guys we'll catch you on the next one